Wally Hilgenberg, a former Minnesota Viking, unfortunately another guy who was impacted by CTE, uh, and you know eventually Lou Gehrig's disease took you know took his life. Um, but he came and spoke to our football team. We had no idea. We thought he was going to tell NFL stories, which he did. But he really talked about how faith made a difference in his mm. life, how it changed for him from being really, you know, a mean, nasty football player to someone who viewed life differently. One of his most poignant stories that I tell often is that at the old Metropolitan Stadium when the Vikings used to play outside, which was a huge advantage for him back then. <laughs> totally. Uh, and some of us remember <laughs> those days. And he said he was in the stadium, and uh, and through out this time, his wife was sharing a lot of things with him because she was a woman of faith. And he said, I looked out over at the stadium, and it was empty. And there were papers blowing all around, trash. And the sun was setting, and it was cold. And he said, he thought to himself, that's my life without football. Oh, and, and that's, that's powerful. And that's what led him eventually to Christ because he's like, I had all this money, um, I would spend money on nice clothes. I would buy a nice Lincoln Continental, and if it got one door ding on it, I'd get upset. I mean, he talked about, and that's often what you see, Matt, in the NFL, is guys are open to faith because they have all this fame, all this prestige, and they look around and go, is this it? Yeah. Is this all there is? Sure. Why am I still unfulfilled? Why am I still empty? And so I'm thankful that I came to that revelation 21 years of age. I thought that makes sense to me. 